Hey Artland, how's it going? In today's video, I want to show you guys how to draw the endangered Indian elephant. Now, to start off with this, we're going to begin with the eye. So we're going to start right about here, and I'm going to draw a little line. It's just going to kind of curve like this. Then starting here, I'm going to make a little line that just kind of curves back, and then this one's going to kind of curve up. And then I'm just going to draw a little curve in here, and I'm going to color most of that in. Then right here, I'm going to draw a couple little lines underneath here for some wrinkles. And then right here, I'm going to draw a little line that just kind of goes up and down. Now, over here, I'm going to draw a little line that just kind of goes down, kind of curves out, and then comes back in. And then I'm going to start here, and I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve down, and then it's just going to kind of come around like this. Then I'm going to make a little line that just kind of curves in. It's just going to come around like this. And I'm going to curve it back up, and then as I get to about here, I want it to get really wide. Then I'm going to make a little line that's just going to kind of curve up here. Then starting here, I'm going to make a line that goes down and comes back up. And then right here, you want to draw a line that's just going to kind of do the same thing for the mouth. Then I'm going to make a line that's just going to kind of curve back and up like this. Now, starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve up. It's going to go up, and then it's just going to kind of curve back like this. Now, starting down here, I'm going to make the ear. Now, the ear of the Indian elephant is going to be a lot smaller than the African elephant. So, you just want to start by drawing a line that's just going to kind of curve down like this. And I'm just going to kind of curve in. And then I'm just going to kind of bring it up here. Then right here, I'm going to draw a little line. It's just going to kind of go down and then kind of curve to here. Now, starting right here, I'm going to draw a line. It's just going to kind of curve across. And then right here, I'm going to make a line. It's going to go up just a little bit. And then it's just going to kind of come down. And then I'm just going to kind of curve this down. And then right out here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of go out, and that's just going to curve back for the tail. Now, we're going to come back over here, and I'm going to make a little line that's just going to kind of curve down and up. And then I'm going to do that one more time, go a little bit higher for the neck. Then I'm going to draw a little line that's just going to go down. I'm going to start here, and I'm just going to take this line. I'm going to kind of curve it like this, and it's just going to go back, so it kind of looks like the elephant's leg is walking. Then I'm just going to draw this line out, and we're just going to kind of come back. Then I'm just going to make a line that's just going to go up, and then it's going to kind of curve around. I'm going to add a little curve line here, and then one right here for the toes. And then right here, I'm going to leave some space, and I'm just going to kind of draw a line that's just going to go right to there. Then starting here, I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve down, and I'm just going to kind of bring it in and down to here. I'm going to draw this line over, and then I'm just going to kind of curve this up. And then I'm just going to bring it right up to the tail and kind of curve it up. Then, starting here, I'm going to draw another line that just kind of goes down. Then I'm just going to bring it over and then back up like this. And then right here, I'm going to draw a little line that's just going to go down. It's going to kind of curve over. And then I'm just going to kind of bring this up here for the other leg. Then, 
Then starting here, I'm going to add a couple little bumps on here for some toes. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. And then I'll just put two over here on this one. So we have our basic drawing. Now we just, we just want to come in and add some details. So over here on the legs, I'm going to add just a couple little kind of curved lines just to kind of show where some wrinkles would be. I'm going to add some quick little lines here. And then just another line or two over here. Over here on the trunk, I'm going to add some quick little kind of curved lines. And this is just to kind of give the trunk some texture. And just to kind of show that it's got a little bit of a curve to it. I'm going to add a little line kind of right up here. And then a little curved line over here too. And then a little line right there. Add a couple little broken lines around the face. And just a couple more kind of around here. I'm going to add a couple little lines right by the ear. And then just a couple little detail lines over here. I'm going to add a couple little broken lines around here. And then I'm going to add a couple more of these little wrinkle lines here and a couple little lines kind of right around the legs, kind of where their knees might be. Add just some more little broken lines right around here. And just kind of fill in some different little areas with some lines. I'm going to add a little line right here and I'm going to kind of color in two spots for the nostrils. And then I'm going to add a little line in here with another line for the tongue. Then at the end of the tail, I'm just going to add a little line that kind of curves down and comes back. And there you go. There is your drawing of an Indian elephant. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.